Is it, will it be real long? It's not real long. Is it? it just depends on how long you want to talk. If you uh, have to get going, just let me know. Okay. You can just talk to me. Okay. Just have a conversation. Well, you tell me your name, my where name, you live, okay. and what you do. My name is uh, Anthony Gray. I live in uh, what South Dallas on. Uh, I'm a youth minister right now. I'm in the process of being a youth, youth minister. I work for a company who sells uh, baseball products called uh, Foremost Athletics. We sell baseball products and, let me see, and, and football stuff also for like little league teams and different people like that right there. Yeah. Can I ask you that? Can you have your glasses? Oh, yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> okay. No, that's cool. That's cool. Um, you can put them on the table here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, were you born in Dallas? Yes, sir. So you've been, been here all your life? Been here all my life for 39 years. Mm -hmm. So you like the city a lot? Yeah, I love Dallas. I mean, Dallas is a, it's a blessed city, I mean, and it's growing. It's a lot of opportunities here in Dallas, I mean. It's a lot of history here, too, in, in Dallas. I mean, Dallas, as far as I know it, I've had good, good and bad times in Dallas, but since, you know, I get to talking about the Lord, since the Lord came in my life, it's, it's all good now because now I'm finally having visions and finally beginning to meet objectives and long-term goals, you know, in other words, just finally lining up to the future that, you know, that God has ahead for me and in store for me. Can I ask you about this? I'm not sure what to call it. Oh, this, uh, this is a uh, prayer shawl. Yeah, you know, Jewish prayer shawl. I just, I just wear it. I'm going to believe in Jesus. I, you know, and I just, I, I wear it. Anything that has something to do with the Lord, notice I had the Ten Commandments on as a tie. I'm just a believer of the way, and I, I love the Lord. You know, that's what this prayer shawl is all about. Back in the Jewish times, they used to wear these prayer shawls right here. You know, the different Jewish cultures did, whatever. Can I ask you about uh, the plaza? And, I mean, you walk through a lot? Yeah. Is there a plaza? I walk through there every, every now and then. Every now and then. I'm not going to say a whole lot, but every now and then. Does it make you feel any way or you think about it? Well, just thinking about President Kennedy, yeah. I mean, for President Kennedy, was a, from, from the little historical part that I know about him, he seemed to be a, a good president. And all I can say is uh, may God richly bless him and that, that the spirit of what he represented keep going on or whatever. Do you know anything about uh, George Bannerman's views? I, I read, uh, a little brief portion, and I, not right offhand or whatever. He was the man that discovered Dallas or whatever. Didn't he have something to do with um, discovering Dallas? I'm talking about the one out there on the sign outside. The um, statue. Statue. Okay. Yeah. No, I, those little landmark deals that are out there. I, I look Dallas looked at those every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, so you were not quite old enough to remember actually. I was born, what, in 64, right during the time when it took place. Let me see, it took place, what, 63, somewhere up in that area there. Yeah. So not, not quite. I was a little bitty kid, a little bitty kid. newborn, really, basically, during that time right there. So do you remember when you first heard about the assassination? Well, like, like in history and school and different things like that in government, you know, they, they would talk about it every now and then, when, you know, when we studied the different presidents or whatever. Did you ever encounter people? attitude about Dallas because Kennedy was killed there? Well, some, somewhat, I mean, you know, it's, and I hate that it happened, you know, to the brother, but, you know, I'm quite sure a lot of people, a lot of people love President Kennedy and, you know, it, it's just bad that it had to happen here in Dallas. You know, it, it sort of gave us some negative, uh, a little negative publicity or whatever, but, Life goes on, you know, and I just, you know, pray that we don't have nothing as tragic as that to happen here again. Um, have you ever gone to the museum up here? That's no, sir. sir. No, sir. Ever gone to the Kennedy Memorial? I've walked, talking about out there in the little more, I've walked, walked through it. Yeah. You know, what do you think of that? It's, it's real nice. I mean, by being a tragic situation, I mean, but it's, it's, it's nice how they build it and different things like that right there. It's like you can you know, feel that little, get a little vibe about what, you know, went on or whatever during that time or whatever. You get a light vibe of what's going on. So it makes you feel like, I mean, what Just, by me not basically, you know, being here at the time, all I can do is just 
kind of reminisce about the look Greek things that I've heard about President Kennedy and different things and just sit back and kind of meditate and ponder the moment or whatever and look around. Do you have any thoughts on what the world might have been like if you hadn't got here in Dallas? A lot of, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say too much as far as that's concerned. Right? I mean, from what I heard, he was a good president. He was a fair president, and um, you know, he, he had a balance with what he was doing. In other words, with all different, you know, nationalities and races or whatever, and he represented some things, you know, different things that I feel like probably would would have helped the people during that particular time or whatever. No, no, sir. I hadn't, I hadn't visited yet, but I'm, since you let me know, I'm getting knowledgeable of these things. I sure I'll go over there and check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, about you know when uh, Oliver Stone was filming JFK? Were you? I I, 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 see, I I didn't get to see it all, but I I'm, I'm, I've heard about it. Whatever. I hadn't got to just check it out. Did you watch the movie afterwards? I watched little brief portions of it. You know, just brief portions of it. Oliver Stone is a good, good director too. I heard it was a real good film, you know, and I'm, I, I guess I just have to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, then, do you have any uh, ideas about what you thought of Kennedy or what happened that day? I, I plead the fifth. I mean, I, you know, I'm not. I, I wasn't here, so it'd be basically circumstantial. It'd be a lot of hearsay about. You know, this or that. I'd, I'd just rather just leave, let the man rest in peace, you know, as far as that situation there go, because it would be basically hearsay or some circumstance, and then that would be really irrelevant. And uh, what do you think the future holds for Dewey Plaza? You think people are going to be coming here years from now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Because definitely, Dallas is a growing city. It's it's growing and there's a lot of nice things going on and a lot of people are bringing their businesses here. I mean, it, I mean, economically Dallas, Dallas is, is, is going to go to the top. I mean, we, we have like American Airlines and, you know, just different buildings being built here all the time and a lot of people are bringing their business here. Dallas is like more like a real low profile like city, you know, like in what Las Colinas and you know, out in the suburban part of Dallas or whatever, we have some nice places around here, in other words, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you think people will come to this spot like yeah. you do now? Oh, yeah, for forever, you know, forever, because, you know, the, the tragic situation with President Kennedy, I mean, it was tragic, and, you know, he's, it, it all be, always be studied, you know, in other words, in history and different places there, and, you know, some people, People will always come here to visit and, and check it out. I, I, there's no doubt in my heart or in my mind that that, that will happen. Is there anything else you'd like to say here, Chair? All I can say is God bless Dilly Plaza, and I just I pray that it just that it just blossoms and that it be that it's prosperous and that the mission of President Kennedy and whatever y'all have going here that it just I just pray blessings on it. That's all I can do is speak blessings on it. God bless you, sir. I'll be able to take you for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, what you say? I'm going to take your, your wire with me.